YouTube. Today at Bomb Geek, we're going to be taking you through our ultimate custom water cooling PC build. This beast is going to be inside one of the most awesome cases out right now for this kind of stuff, the Corsair 900D Super Tower. The heart and soul of this monster will be in an i7-4770K. We'll be also rocking an AS Rock Z87 OC formula with an EVGA GTX 780. Now this is a 10 part build, to cut it any shorter would be a damn injustice. Whether you're thinking about water cooling or you just like to see cool stuff, we've got you covered. This is part one of the custom water cooling setup. We like to start with the CPU block first, as it's usually the hardest part to get to. We have an EK Supremacy full nickel block. We've already attached the back plate. Keep in mind, most of these blocks come with different brackets for different socket types. Now we're going to apply some thermal paste. Assemble these M4 screws with a washer, then the screw, followed by the block and then the spring and the thumb screw. Now that we have that assembled, our CPU should be good to go. Now for part two. We're going to install the water pump. You will want to keep this below your reservoir as it will make primarily way easier. Now unless you're absolutely sure this is the best location for your pump, you should use Velcro to hold the pump where you want it. You might also keep in mind that this will require a single Molex connector from the power supply. We went with a custom threaded MCP655 from SwiftTech. You want to make sure this mount is in the right place. And if you're in a situation where mounting is an issue, you can do wonders with some double-sided Velcro. Step three, we'll be mounting the reservoir. We have an EK 400 milliliter X3 res. We got this because, well, we could. This case is huge, so why not make it look good? Once we get this puppy full of neon, you'll know what we mean. The single most important part of mounting your reservoir is knowing its location in relation to your water pump. Other than that, it's probably the easiest step in the water cooling build. Now that we're finished with the installation of the reservoir, we can move on to step four. Now on to step four, the cooling power. It's huge, right? <laughs> you like to hear me say that, huh? We went with the Black Ice SR1480 quad radiator. I'm going to mount the fans on the outside though, just because it's gonna look pretty damn awesome. This will push air into the case, over the radiator, and we're going to exhaust it right out the back. Remember, you wanna be careful to make sure you're using the right screws. Otherwise, you can damage some radiators. Now, we aren't going to fully mount the radiator right now because if we need to make any quick adjustment on the fly, unscrewing all 16 mounts is going to take a minute. We'll do the final mount on step 10. Step 5. We're almost there. We've already installed the EK copper block for our EVGA GTX 780. We took it out of the case because we wanted to make sure we could move around pretty easily for all the other mounting. So we're just simply going to lock it into place now. Now we've got step 5 locked in, so we're ready to move on to step 6. Step six, now to apply the compression fittings to all the ports. You will notice that they come in two parts. We're going to separate them so that when we apply the tubing, we'll be ready to go. Depending on if you have any tight turns, you might want to think about getting some elbow fittings so that you don't bend your tubing too much and restrict water flow. Step seven, if you're under the age of 32, please call a parent over to supervise because you're gonna to need to use something sharp. Now it's time to measure the tubes. As you can see, we've already measured ours out and attached them. You guys are gonna get off easy. Otherwise, this video would have been an extra hour and a half long. This is easily the most difficult step of your whole water cooling build. You have to plan every single tubing cut and all of this is dependent on whatever case you're using. As we said earlier, we're using a 900D, so we can get away with a lot of imperfections. Always remember, you're going to need a clean cut so nothing leaks. You'll also need a pair of needle nose pliers to stretch the tubing to fit over the compression fittings. Now that we've got our build tubes, we're ready to move to step eight. Step eight is the most important part of your whole damn thing. If you don't get this right, it can cost you the whole build. You wanna make sure all the compression fittings are tight. We like to do that with pliers, with either electrical tape or we use cloth. That way you don't damage the compression fitting finish. Just give everything a nice final turn for safety. It's step nine and everything is looking fine. Let's prime the loop. We're using the Corsair 900D case for this build and you can see how easy the super tower is gonna make priming this loop. This is going to be the fun stuff. We're gonna take an external power supply and connect the green wire and the black wire, basically hot wiring it like a Camry. Remember to cut off the back switch so that there's no power before you put the paper clip in place. I like to test it out with a fan or a light just to make sure the power supply is on, which we already did. 
Then make sure you have water running down through the res into the pump before you're going to want to flip the switch powering the pump. Once you do, let the water push through and then shut it off before your reservoir is empty. You never want to run your pump dry because dry pumping is bad pumping. Now repeat this several times until you're sure your loop is full. Step 10, guys. Let's get beautiful. <laughs> Wait, I mean, awesome. It's time to add a little neon green and watch her come to life. This is always my favorite part. It's just really, really cool to watch. We're going to try and catch this with the camera. Hopefully it comes out right. Thanks for watching Bomb Geek and our ultimate water cooling bonanza of ultimate awesome stuff. We want to give a quick shout out over to Joe at Frozen CPU. We're glad to be a part of the TGN network and we recommend you hit like and definitely hit subscribe. We'll keep you up to date on all the latest hardware, games, and just flat out awesome geekery. I'm Jessica. See you next time, YouTube.